brought to you by Ashton Mitchell at Premier Nationwide Lending, where dreams are defined. And by Angela Barrett at HomeMattersSC.com, building on what matters to you. Hey guys, I'm with Ashton Mitchell again today, and uh, she is with Premier Nationwide Lending. I yes. always try to say something else other than nationwide. I'm not sure why. It's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today let's talk about um, the USDA loans. Yes, love USDA. So here in the Midlands, there's a lot of areas that qualify for USDA loans. So that's kind of the first thing you need to know about USDA loans is they're area specific. So they're targeted to more rural areas outside of your metro areas. But here, for instance, like Red Bank, we've got Elgin, we've got Gilbert, all of those surrounding areas around Lexington qualify. So it's an income-based program. Mm -hmm. Total household income has to be under 110,650 as the base. If their income's under that's that. the total, mm -hmm. okay. Yep, and that's household income. So that's even if, um, say the wife isn't on the loan because her credit's not great, but she lives in the house and she's got a job, we'd still have to count her income mm -hmm. towards this. Okay. Yeah. But the true benefit of USDA is it's 0% down, just like our VA loans. So it's truly the only 100% financing option out there, not for veterans. Another benefit to it is, is it's got lower PMI than FHA. So you can keep your payment a little bit lower with USDA sometimes. Right. And again, um, Explain the PMI. Yep. So the PMI is that private mortgage insurance mm -hmm. that is on government loans typically. That's just a little bit of protection in the lender's pocket because those long loans are more risky to default. Right. And that PMI carries through the whole life of the loan. Right. And so those loans, even though you're, um, you're whatever interest rate, it's going to add just a little bit to your mortgage because you yep. have to carry that. Exactly. So it's factored into your total monthly payment whenever your lender's quoting your payment. And usually, depending on most homes, it's going to range anywhere from probably 30 to maybe 90, 120, 120, maybe what house they're purchasing. Yeah. Yeah. It's based on the house price. Cool. Yeah. And so, again, the USDA, the two factors, I mm -hmm. guess, is the household income and yeah. location. And exactly. there's a website, I think. There is. So... You can go to usda.gov mm -hmm. or you can just Google USDA income limits or eligibility areas. Click that first one, make sure it's not a sponsored ad, and you can go in there and you can play with that calculator. It'll tell you the limits, it'll tell you what areas. Um, there's lots of new construction areas That's that right. also qualify for USDA too. Yes, because they're building in those more rural areas exactly. now. Exactly. Well, that's where everything's growing. Yeah, because yep. Lexington's full. Yep. <laughs> my, my second loan uh, that I ever had when I bought a house was a USDA loan. So it's not just for first-time buyers. Right. Yeah. Good. Well, that is great. Thank you for that wonderful information. Yeah. All right, that's USDA loans. Guys, call us if you have any questions. Brought to you by Ashton Mitchell at Premier Nationwide Lending where dreams are defined. And by Angela Barrett at HomeMattersSC.com, building on what matters to you.